Now, one way to do this would be to save a new workspace at the end of, say, working on a specific type of work. And then anytime you do that again, simply switch back to this workspace. So you could call it architectural or electrical, or you could just give it a name like, uh, in my case, Brandon's custom workspace. You can name it anything you'd like as long as it makes sense to you because you're going to want to have a few of these typically depending on the type of work you're doing. Many users will have one for design or modeling if you're using say 2D or 3D CAD a lot and then have another workspace for production drawings or plotting. That way you can have different tools like the annotation tools more front and center for your uh, drawing production and more of the design and drawing tools front and center for your modeling and design. When you've named it and you're happy with your workspace, you can hit save and now you've got a new workspace. Now the magic with this is if you add or remove anything uh, or you're used to working in a different workspace, so let's go back to basics. You can see this is all changed. If I say close some of these or if I close AutoCAD and I come back in and I wanna get back to the one that I had, I simply hit Brandon's workspace and you can see the ribbon has gone back to the way I had it. All of these panels have come back and everything looks the way I had it when I set it up. Now this is a huge game changer for anybody that spends a ton of time in AutoCAD and it's a super unknown and unused feature. So a few tips on when and why you might want to use a custom workspace. This is super ideal for anybody that works in multiple different functions whether you're doing uh, design one day and then production another day or if you're working in different industries I find this a lot some days I'll be working on industrial uh, piping diagrams and then other days I'll be doing civil design those are two different workspaces and tool sets that I'll be using and I use this in civil 3d as well this works just the same uh, it's going to save you a ton of time having all of these things set the way you like them and coming back to that every time you can even save and export these with your profile and then when you get a new laptop or upgrade your CAD importing your old profiles is going to bring all of your workspace in with it uh, uh, down here in the bottom right 